This is Coogan Cassis for Eiffel TV in association with MTK Global. We're in Las Vegas, it's a huge fight day. Artem, welcome. Thank you very much, thanks for having me. Thank you very much for coming on. Um, yeah, not many people are giving Conor McGregor in the boxing world uh, a prayer tonight. Uh, explain to me why he could have one. You know, that's because you know people aren't good at just assessing the skills without uh, you know much data and, and let's be honest there's no data on Connor's boxing because he, you know there's no footage of him boxing so as a result people assume that this is a basketball player coming into a rugby world but this is not the case you know Con Connor has been boxing since he's nine years old he has multiple uh, amateur boxing fights we spar uh, professional boxers all the time so this is nothing new to him he is sharp he is ready and he is uh, gonna shock the world yeah, I mean, I mean, people comparing this shock-wise to nothing like we've ever seen before, and there is the unknown factor, the unknown factor about how Connor's even going to shape up from them, uh, the opening round, to let alone anything else. I think a lot of people are seeing Mayweather to win, but they don't know how he's going to get there. But I mean, I've just been talking to Owen Roddy there, and the team is so so confident that. Mayweather is getting knocked out tonight. This is the message. Absolutely, you know, our prediction is based on facts. I mean, look what Conor does in all his fights. It's all knockouts. He's a knockout artist, a true knockout artist. It doesn't matter who you put against him. They all look the same. From Brimage, which was his first UFC fight, to Aldo, who was at the time pound for pound number one, undefeated for 10 years. They all look the same in the end. So that's why we have that confidence that Mayweather will also look just like they do on the canvas. Um, it's been a, a long week here in, in Las Vegas and th these are the best kind of fight weeks. I mean, Conor's used to that uh, intensity, that atmosphere from the UFC, the, the high gates, the big numbers. Um, will it be any different tonight, even though it's effectively another sport? It's not a sport, but you know, it's 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 the same drill for us. Like I said, you know, the work has been put in. The fight is already won for us. We know that knockout is coming. And and the thing is, the, with Connor, you know, you see other fighters, they might be good in the gym, but come fight night, they you know, they go down a notch. With Connor, is always the opposite. The bigger the occasion, the better he gets. You know, you would look, watch him inspiring, and he already looks incredible. And you think, right, surely there is no other level. And then you watch him on fight night, and he brings it to the whole other level again. So uh, once again, he'll do the business tonight. A lot has been made of the sparring situation with Paulie Malinagi. I don't know if you saw, but there was a video that went out a couple of days ago with Paulie in Floyd's gym, suggesting that it was kind of set up from their side. I don't know if you've seen that, but what have you made of the whole situation and kind of the backlash it's had from the footage that Dana White put out, the 30-second footage that we saw uh, where uh, Paulie Malignaggi uh, looked to be put down by Connor? You know, to be honest, we didn't really care much about the situation. We got whatever we needed from Paulie. He got slapped around and it gave us, a, you know, a good confidence boost you know it was a good spar again and uh, you know it was great to see Connor kill a two-weight world champion you know and, and just slap him all over the place I mean it, it, it was incredible to watch so uh, other than that the rest makes no difference you know he can he got his uh, you know five minutes in the spotlight so there you go Ollie. just finally Artem, um, a win for Conor McGregor tonight what does it do for the UFC and what does it do for boxing if McGregor, uh, if Mayweather's to lose and, and McGregor's to win tonight, what does it do for, for I, each I of those? I think it's huge for boxing because it's, it's going to help uh, boxing become a lot more mainstream. Because whatever people say, as, as long as boxing has been around, it is still not a mainstream, uh, mainstream sport. People don't know anything about boxing. And, and the proof to that is that all the padded records in boxing. In, when you see a boxer in 20-0, 20, 20 those aren't 20 real wins. They, that's padded record. You know, that's a fact. People just don't, aren't aware of that. But that's what happens. They bring a guy in that can't really fight, and you go in there and you beat him, and that's that's another win for you. This is how it works. It is absolutely crazy. You never see this in any other sport. Can you imagine like Tiger Woods or any of the top golfers playing against their neighbor? This is what's happening in boxing. It is absolutely crazy and this needs to stop because it's making it difficult for good fighters to, to make it there because you need a lot of financial backing to get to 20-0. Uh, so I'm hoping that the sport will become a lot more mainstream, people will understand what's happening and there will be no more record padding. 
That's what I hope for. All right, well, listen, thank you very much for your time today. And uh, like I said, not long until this fight is on. Uh, Las Vegas will be absolutely lit tonight. So uh, we'll all look forward to it. Me too. Thank you very much. Top man.